All right, so my name is Scott Bursick. I do not work for Topaz. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not getting any free product, nothing. I'm just showing um, how I use the gigapixel.ai and uh, kind of give you a demo of it. So um, the image I'm going to use is this Piranha PNG photo. You can see as I'm hovering over it, it's 600 by 400, uh, 235 kilobits. If I open it up, it in here um, it's just opening in the Windows photo app and if I zoom way in here you'll see the fuzziness around the eye and if you look at the tail fin and the anal fin you'll see the, the kind of blurriness when I increase the size just zooming in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same image and all right, I'm going to pull it into Gigapixel. And once in Gigapixel, I have mine set up to do a side-by-side -side preview so I can see what it's going to look like. Um, the scale, I'm going to increase it by four times. So you see down here at the bottom, 600 by 400. It's going to be 2400 by 1600. And then these are the different AI models that you can load in. Um, this is a, a compressed photo, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and go with very compressed. Um, I can try other models, though, if I think another model might work better. So let me go ahead and zoom in, and it will update the preview. It'll take a second. Now look at the difference. You can see the pixels all around the edge. You can see the, the pixel squares around the eye, and this has really smoothed it out. Um, I haven't lost any detail um, in fact it's improved the detail you can see it in the fins right here versus here and go back to the anal fin here and you can see on the especially on the leading edge this trailing edge is very blurry so uh, that's just a, a fault in the photo let me come over here to the tail look at all the pixels coming down the edge of the tail there's still a little bit of pixelation there on the edge Let's choose a low resolution model and see what happens here. Let's see it's going through the preview, it's loading, it's updating. And there's still a little bit of uh, square pixel looking around the edges right there. Um, I could try some other models and try to adjust it a little bit more and see um, how it uh, see how it smooths it out. All right, so yeah, still some still some pixelation there, but overall, the quality is really good. Um, if I move it, it's going to update. Um, I think I'm going to go back to the uh, very compressed. And I think I'm pretty good with the way this one looks, so come back over to the eye because the eye is what people are going to look at when they look at the photo and want to make sure the eye looks good and it does it looks pretty decent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click save image and I'm going to let it save it in the same format in the same directory as the source so I'm going to leave it as that I'm going to click save and it has processed it and saved it so let me open my Windows Explorer back up So now you'll see it's renamed it with the scale four times by gigapixel. Really helps you identify what photo it is. Let me open that up in just the Windows Photo Viewer. And you can see how much better that looks. Um, I don't have to zoom way in because it's already a much larger photo. Um, and it, it did a really good job. I mean, this is completely usable. So. Anyway, that's my quick demo of Topaz Gigapixel and how I use it. Um, again, I'm not endorsed for this in any way, so give it a try. Um, it's definitely affordable right now, especially since they have it on sale. So appreciate your time.